from Makasis Academy. In today's program, we have to teach average cost minimization. So we have average cost minimization. All right. So let us give a little question okay, that we can solve to see how we can be able to minimize um, our average cost. All right. So suppose, suppose that TC of Q, that is total cost, TC of Q, that is total cost, Okay, equalizes um, 4Q square, 4Q square minus, sorry, 4Q is power 3 minus 56. Okay, 4Q raised to power 6, raised to power 3, I mean, minus 56. Q minus 56 Q raised to the power 2 plus 14,000 Q. Okay, 4 Q squared, all right. Okay. All right, so. So I say suppose that total cost of Q is equal to 4Q square 3 minus 56Q square plus 14Q, okay, is the cost of producing Q items is the cost of producing, producing, cost of producing Q items. Full stop. Then find a production level, production level that we minimize find a production level that will minimize the firm's average cost. The firm's average cost of making or producing Q items. All right, so this is just a question, okay? So I was giving a question that says, suppose Q, T, C, that is total cost of Q equals to 4Q cubed minus, minus 56 Q squared plus 14,000 Q is the cost of producing Q items. Then let us find a production total level that will minimize the firm's average cost of making Q items. All right, solution by Makati Chinedu. Solution. So, solution now by Makati. She needs you. All right. So now we we are about to you know uh, provide a solution for this. Okay. So now um, I recall that my TC is four Q cubed minus minus fifty six Q squared plus fourteen Q. Right. Okay. So I know that the economic economic theory. Or, you know, or we said that economic theory of production, economic theory of production says that says that the division of total cost and the quantity used the average cost says that the 
the vision of our total cost and the quantity Q yields the average cost. That is that is that AC is equal to is equal to TC that is total cost all over quantity. All right. So, but our TC is given us what? Okay. What is our TC given us? Our TC is given us 4Q to the power 3 minus 56Q to the power 2 plus 14,000 Q. All right. So we have, so we have, so we have our um, average cost to be equal to the um, 4Q, 4Q with part 3. 4Q raised to power 3 divided by Q mm -hmm. minus again 56Q squared 56Q squared divided by Q again plus plus 14,000Q all over Q All over Q. All right. So um, actually, when I do this division, I shall have what we call our average cost AC. It means that I am dividing every term of our total cost function by the quantity Q. I repeat, I divided, or I am to divide every term of our total cost function by the output or the quantity Q. Okay. So. Um, doing the division, I shall now cancel out this Q, okay, underneath and the one of the Q on top, okay. So I'll be leaving, I'll be left with two Q, okay, from the first term, okay. Again, I come at the second term, cancel out Q underneath and the one of the Qs on top of the second term, I'll be left with one Q. And again, from last term, cancel out this, okay? Cancel out this, all right? So, nothing remains here from, from, from last term, okay? So, um, the whole thing of function reduces to AC is equal to, then I have four Q, 4Q squared, uh -huh. 4Q squared minus, minus 56Q, minus 56Q, sorry, from here I have only 4Q squared, 4Q squared, Minus 56 Q plus 14,000. All right. So what I have here is my average cost, okay, or defense average cost, okay. So what do I do? What do I do? I shall take the first derivative of this um, average cost function, okay, after which um, I let it become undefined, okay. So, so um, that. That makes me to have, if I take the first derivative of AC, that is, I shall have um, the AC, you know, it's an ordinary derivative, okay? The AC, the Q, with respect to Q, the Q, okay? The AC, the Q, is equal to, I shall have 8X, 
sorry, eight Q, eight Q minus fifty six, minus fifty six. Okay, knowing that the constant. Okay, when I do differentiate it, I I, I have zero. Okay, so um, we should recall that at critical point that AC prime of of Q or the AC the Q. Okay, is undefined. Okay, uh, we say that, but at stationary points or critical points, critical points of optimization, okay, um, the first derivative, the first, the first, okay, um, let me know it's time, okay, and that's it, at, but at critical points, okay, that the AC, the AC, the AC, the Q, the Q is undefined, okay? And when something is said to be undefined, it means that that thing is being set equal to zero. So, so, we have 4Q, 4Q minus, 56 to be set equal to zero. Sorry, it's not 4Q, it's 8Q, please. It's a mistake, please, sorry. 8Q, all right. 8Q, 8Q, all right. So, to be set equal to zero, solving for Q, I transpose, okay. I have 8Q equal to 56, then divided through by Q, I have Q to be equal to 56 divided by 8, which is equal to 7. All right, all right. At this point, I've seen that um, the output okay, of the Fermi is what? 7 units, okay? So let us actually test if this output, okay, of seven is the one to minimize our average cost, okay, or the firm's average cost. All right. So doing that, we we take the second derivative, okay. Okay. You now say um, the second derivative of what AC with respect to second derivative of AC with respect to Q, all right? So that gives me the square AC, the square AC, the Q square, okay, is equal to eight, okay? Now, let us evaluate, let us evaluate, mind you, no more, the first derivative is eight Q minus fifty six, right? So the second derivative is what? Eight. Okay, which is positive. All right. So let us evaluate. Okay. Um, uh, well, if we evaluate that, uh, we we have. Um, let us evaluate this at critical point of what seven. Okay. Critical point of seven. The Q squared. All right. The square AC, okay. So evaluating that, um, of seven is still what eight. It's still what eight, okay. And uh, when that happens, okay, we know that what we have here is what upper concave, okay, upper concave, or we said that the function becomes now concave, right? And concave goes towards minimum. Suppose we have something less than zero. We have what we call lower concave, or we call it convex, okay, which goes towards maximum. All right? So, we are about to finish the lesson. It that means that seven, okay, having got this, okay, um, they evaluated at um, Q equal to seven, and we still have a something positive, okay? So, so the function is what? Concave. Now, it's going to... The function, the function is 
concave. Concave, okay, or we can call it upper concave, okay, which shows which shows that okay, which shows that really x of q equal to seven is the output is the quantity or output that will is output of quantity that we minimize our or the firm's average cost. Okay. Minimize the firm's average cost. All right. Okay, since we have a minimum of what seven items, since since we have a minimum of seven items. All right. Sorry, seven items. Good stuff. All right. So hope this helps. Hope this helps. Hope this helps. By Makasi Chinedu. Please subscribe to my channel where I'll be giving a tutorial on different what topics in different courses. I am responsible for any typographical error found in this video. Thank you for watching. See you guys later.